the hell the EPA and Homeland Security have to do with each other? I can't figure that one out at all. Listen, EPA, you get a clipboard and a test tube. You don't get a badge and a gun. You make recommendations. You don't make arrests. You don't make policy. You make me sick. And then, of course, the last story, the Sharia law now in Florida. Well, it didn't get passed. Thank God for Republicans. There was more Republicans. If, there, if, the, if the Democrats had a majority, there'd be Sharia law in Florida right now. Think about that. If that doesn't scare the living bejesus out of you, I don't know what will. Well, maybe this might. Let's get into this 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 story last night. I swear to frickin' God, man, I couldn't believe it. And that cop, that goddamn cop. First of all, cop, you should have you should have you should have been fired. You do not arrest people. You do not put people into handcuffs unless they are a direct. I mean, a direct threat to society or to somebody else. He posed no threat to society. He posed no threat to anybody. Except for the educational system. He was trying to protect his daughter. So, cop, you did a bad job. You should lose your job for that. You should have been fired. Creating this, saying this guy was a disturbance. Here's one of the quotes of this book. Now, this guy, this father, got a 14 year old girl, freshman in high school. She's had the book for a week. And normally this particular book, what the hell's the name of this stupid book? can't remember. It's something. What the hell is it? These stupid names. These stupid books. 19 minutes. Well, I guess 19 minutes. I don't know. What, what does the 19 minutes mean? Is that how long, how long the rape took? But this book is called 19 Minutes. Normally, what they've done in the past, the parents had to say, yes, my daughter or my son can read this goddamn trash, or no, they cannot read this goddamn trash. Well, this year, they didn't do that. They didn't get the parents' consent. Now, when I was in high school, we were to read books. We never had any of this crap. None of this. You would have done a book report on rape and incest? I'm pretty sure you would have failed. Pretty sure you would have to go in to speak to one of the uh, uh, vice principals or counselor or somebody. Your mom and dad would have gotten a note from the principal, a call from the teacher. Um, yeah, your student is uh, reading very offensive material and doing reports on it. We don't do rape and incest in school. So could you have your child pick another book to read, please? Not anymore. This is required material. Well, the father found out about it. The girl had had the book for, I think, a week or two. And he found out about it. Read some of the stuff and threw a fit. And rightly so. She could feel his erection hot against her stomach. Well, I mean, if you can't word it any better than that, just don't bother writing. You're not very creative. And yeah, I do know about creative writing, because I am a creative writer. So he goes up in front of this this board of educators. I really wouldn't exactly call them educators. But he went over the two-minute mark. Wow, that's you can't do that. Uh, You're you're creating a, a civil disturbance. You are a threat to society for going over two minutes. Well, he wasn't pleased with it. Somehow, some way, they got into a little bit of a little, uh, a little mini argument. The man is a, a uh, uh, an attorney, and he gets arrested. The cop, which you did a bad job, cop. You should know the difference. And if you don't know the difference between somebody who is a threat and somebody who is not a threat to society, you have no business wearing that badge, nor do you definitely have no business carrying that firearm, you idiot. That's right, cop. You're a goddamned idiot, and I'm not afraid to tell you right to your fat frickin' face. I know you'll arrest me because you're a goddamn coward. You're a piece of trash. 
That's all you are. I got nothing nice to say about you, cop. You don't arrest people, especially when he's trying to protect his frickin' daughter, you asshole. What's the matter with you? What the hell's the matter with you? What is the matter with you, cop? What is the matter with you? How the hell do you not know what the difference between a threat and a non-threat is? The man is protecting his daughter from reading garbage, trash. And he goes over the two-minute mark? And he argues with these idiots? Yeah. And I listened to some of his argument. He didn't seem to me to be out of control. My God, I don't know what the hell they would have done with me. They'd have probably crucified me. I'd be on a cross right now. Jesus, God Almighty. Cop, if you really wanted to arrest somebody, maybe you should have arrested those educators. Isn't rape still a crime? I'm pretty sure it is. Pretty sure rape and incest and that kind of stuff is still a crime. Seems to me that would be a hate crime, right? Wouldn't rape be a hate crime? I mean, I'm just saying. I mean, I'm just saying. If you're going to go by the standards of hate, would or would not rape be a frickin' hate crime? Of course it would. So why didn't you arrest these educators there, cop, you little coward? Arrest them for advocating rape. Oh, no, we're going to arrest a man who, who, who confronts these educators and argues with them. I'm sorry, cop, but you're a coward. You got it wrong. You should have lost your job. But see, your supervisor is probably just as idiotic as you, just as ignorant, just as incompetent, just as creepy, just as dangerous. Yeah, I'm right. I'm calling you dangerous, cop. That's right. Dangerous. Danger ass. That's exactly what you are, cop. You're an ass. Anybody who's going to arrest a father for standing up protecting his daughter from reading absolute filth, maybe the cop, if he, if he had any sense about him, should have walked up and shook his hand. But no. He took his hands behind his back and handcuffed him and arrested him. Well, I hope there's one hell of a civil lawsuit on your ass, cop. You should lose your job over this, but you won't. You'll probably get promoted. Might even make sergeant one day. Look at you. Yeah, you're a real big man. Look at him. I'm looking at this creep. Yeah, you're a real big man. Yeah, you did a hell of a job. Yeah, you really cleaned up society the other night, didn't you, cop? Boy, look at you. I bet all your other little communist cop friends are real proud of you, too, aren't they? They probably shook your hand. Good job. Good job. This kind of stuff is serious, guys. I'm sorry, but it is. This stuff is serious. This stuff is real. This isn't on this isn't make believe. This isn't a television show. This isn't stuff that you 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 you're not watching twenty four here. You're not watching make believe. You're not watching television. You're watching real life news handcuffing you, arresting you for arguing with educators because they're not educating. That is this man's responsibility, his right, his obligation to protect his child. So what if he argues with them? They deserve to be argued with. My God in heaven! And some of the stuff I can't even repeat on here. It's absolutely disgusting. I mean, absolutely vile, and I'm an ex-sailor. I mean, it's hard to get, it's hard, it's hard to gross me out. It really is. I've heard every goddamn thing in the book. I've even made things up and put it in the book. But some of this stuff is absolutely, it's, it, it, it's, it's disgusting. Semen sticky and hot pooled on the carpet beneath her. Well, first of all, again, you're not a very creative writer. If you can't come up with a better way to describe semen sticky and hot pooled on the carpet beneath her, then don't bother writing. This is just in your face. That's all this is about, is to be in your face. 
And they know the right is going to object, and that's why they do it, to get the right to object so they can, they can use that against the right. Well, don't be afraid to let these creeps use anything against you. If it's right, you stand up for it. Don't be afraid to fight these people. And now this man has to get arrested. Imagine that he gets arrested for standing up for what is right. Well, cop, you should have been arrested. And same with every one of those goddamn educators should have been arrested as well. That's ridiculous. I mean, what the hell? Come on. Come on. Now let's get into this is common core here now. Here's some other stuff. You're going to like this. This is common core reading for 11th grade, which they talk about incest. Well, I mean, if you're down south, maybe, I don't know. But even then, incest is still, as far as I know, and I'm just teasing on the south. I'm just hacking on you. I don't mean any disrespect. Merely pointing out, making a point here. But last time I checked, incest and rape was still, still criminal. And there's kind of good reasons for it. I mean, if daddy's having sex with little, you know, sister Susie here, uh, I mean, come on. Uh, come on. And people do. People have sex with their children. Why? I don't know. I, I, I Again, I have no idea. But there's reasons why it's criminal. We should not be glorifying rape and incest, for Christ's sakes. Well, this particular book is called The Bluest Eye. Ugh. I mean, the title just is stupid. This is by this idiot, Toni Morrison, and she's a Nobel Prize-winning author. She's an idiot. She's another evil creep. Pages 148 to 149. With a violence... Oh, 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 violence! Nope, nope, you're not allowed to read... You're not allowed to use that word, violence. Uh Uh-oh. That book is banned. With a violence born of total helplessness, he pulled her dress up, lowered her trousers and underwear. Well, first of all, again, lack of creativity. If you can't word things any better than that, this is not very creative. Look, words have to flow. There needs to be a flow. This is not a flow. Pulled up her dress, lowered his trousers. Well, first of all, in America, we don't use the word trousers. I know they use that word in England, but in America, we don't call our pants trousers. I guess she wanted to be a little different, didn't want to use the word pants, so she wanted to sound like she was being creative. Well, if you can't get any more creative than this, sweetheart, again, don't bother writing because you're not very good. Lowered his trousers and underwear. I said, get on with it. And make it good, N-word. The N-word. And no, it's not a nincompoop. Come on, C-word. And no, not Constitution. It rhymes with bunt. This is stuff your 11th your, your, your grade student needs to read. Okay, fine. Again, you want to let your child read this crap at home? That's fine. And I, I don't call it crap because this stuff doesn't offend me. I don't get really offended by words. I get offended by actions. That's what offends me. But if you want, but in school, that's different. You want to read this crap? Okay, fine. In college, that's a little bit different. But in high school, no. No, no, no. Not in public school. But if you want to, you, you as a parent don't mind that your child is reading this stuff, okay, fine. In the privacy of your own home, you can read whatever the hell you want to. Again, a freedom. But in school, you're not there to read this kind of crap. And it is crap. There's no education uh, uh, value in this. Where, where's the educational value in this crap? Well, I guess the education in this crap is uh, uh, to learn not... What uh, to learn what not to do. 
Meaning, if you want to be a writer, this is how you do not write. And be a writer myself, this is not how you write. This is garbage. This is this is just it's pathetic. It's not very good. It's not very cre- you're not very creative there, Miss Tony Morrison. Come on, C word. Faster. You ain't doing nothing for her. He almost wished he could do it hard, long, and painfully. He hated her so much. This is about rape. He wants to do it longer and harder because he hated her so much. He wanted to rape her harder and longer. Well, I thought you weren't supposed to use the word hate. Well, unless you're a liberal, then you can use the word hate. You can use the C word and the N word and the B word now, violence. You can talk about rape. I wonder how many uh, women that were raped and men that were raped in prison, I wonder how many of them actually enjoyed it. I mean, I'm just curious. I wonder if they think this kind of stuff is worth glorifying. I mean, I'm just, you know, bringing that up. I mean, just me. I'm an oddball. Page 174 of this cockamamie book, The Bluest Eye. Sweetheart, how did you win that Nobel Prize, huh? Who do you know? Who did you pay off? How did you win this prize? You're not a very good author. I just, I'm just reading one, just one excerpt of it. I can tell you are not a good author. You're not a very good writer. You're pathetic. He further limited his interest to little girls. Oh, now we're talking about pedophilia. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, I wonder how, again, I wonder how many little girls and little boys that were raped. I wonder I wonder if, how they felt. I wonder if they enjoyed it. I wonder if they think that glorifying pedophilia is something to do. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, we all know that, that raping little children, yeah, that's, that, that's worth glorifying. And this bitch won a goddamn Nobel Prize? He further limited his interest to little girls. They were usually manageable. That's right, because he's much bigger than them. He can control them. It's about the power. It's about tyranny over the little girl. And that's what this government is doing. They're raping you because they have control over you. Because you are manageable. And don't think for one second that this government is not raping you. They're raping your mind. They're raping your heart. They're raping your soul. It's up to you to stand up to them. Fight them. Costs. They were manageable. His sexuality was anything but lewd. Oh, really? Oh, it's not lewd. Not lewd to rape little girls. All right, all right. Well, or she said it was. So, I mean, I've got to take her word for it. She's got a goddamn Nobel Prize. She obviously knows more than me. His patronage of little girls smacked of innocence, and was associated in his mind with cleanliness. Yes, that's right. Clean yourselves with the vaginas of little girls. That's how I clean myself every morning. I used to take a shower with soap and water, but now I rape little girls, and I'm much cleaner. I mean, Jesus Christ Almighty, this is the kind of crap you want your kids reading? For Christ's sakes. God damn it! And later, this same pedophile notes, I work only through the Lord. Imagine that. He sometimes uses me to help people. Well, I'm sure, yeah, in this story. The man, imagine that. This is sick, twisted stuff. So here this, this, this woman is writing about a man who uses the Lord to clean himself in the vaginas of little girls. 
which helps them. This is glorifying pedophilia. First of all, pedophilia is nothing to glorify. Why the left has no respect for children, I do not know. 1.6 million abortions every year in this country. How many children are kidnapped from their parents and thrown in psych wards and get shock treatment? Now, there's another story. This guy gets what? This woman, this woman judge, sentences guys to 45 days in jail and then must go, what, three years? He, he raped a girl. Raped a girl. I guess she was 14. Raped her at 14. And now he has to do community service at a rape counseling center. This woman judge, look, look, I'm sorry, but ladies, you should know. You should have a much better sense that if, if a girl is raped, she does not need her accuser to work in the rape counseling center. Well, the rape counseling center, no, this son of a bitch ain't coming anywhere near this rape counseling center. Well, good for them. This judge needs to be removed from the bench. She needs to be thrown in jail. This is the kind of stuff we can't handle. I'm sorry. We can't have this stuff in this country anymore. Used to be precious in this country. They used to be. They used to be. But see, children aren't worth very much anymore. Evidently not. I mean, you can abort them. You can kidnap them, throw them into psych wards. You can rape them. No problem. They're not worth very much. How much is a child worth these days, anyway? What's the going rate for a child? Well, I guess if we went to Nigeria and find out how much they're trying to sell all those girls that they they kidnapped, trying to sell them into slavery, maybe they can give us a perspective on how much a little girl and little boy is worth. Where the hell are our freaking minds in this country? Where the hell is the mindset? I don't know where it is. I can't get to that level. I flat frickin' refuse to get to that level. I mean, my God. This is the kind of stuff. Yeah, this is right. You need to get angry with this. That's goddamn right. Angry. Upset. Mad. You don't need to kill people, but you need to let these people that you're not, you need to let these people know you're not going to put up with this. But we don't have a decent goddamn uh, police department enough now. We don't have a police department to enforce this crap. We don't have a government that's going to enforce this crap. We don't have a justice department. Where is it? What justice department do we have? What? What justice? What justice do we have in this country anymore? Well, if you're on the left, I guess you get justice because everybody on the right is being persecuted. So I guess that's the justice now. Page 181 of this goddamn disgusting book. This is Common Core. This is what your children are learning in school. The little girls are the only things I miss. Do you know that when I touched her sturdy little tits and bit them just a little, I felt I was being friendly? Hmm. Wow. Hmm. All right. I guess I'm going to bite my girlfriend's tit tonight and see if she takes that as being friendly. Pretty sure I'm going to get slapped across the face. Pretty sure. You can nibble on them, but you don't bite them. They're sensitive. If I'd been hurting them, would they have come back? They'd eat ice cream with their legs open while I played with them. It was like a party. And this bitch wins a goddamn Nobel Prize? I mean, how do you how 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 I mean I, I mean I mean how do you comment on this? I mean, come on. 
Why do we accept that in this country? How can we possibly stoop ourselves to that goddamn level that we can accept this as the new frickin' norm? I can't, and I won't. And cop, you did a bad thing. Shame on you, cop. Shame on you! You would arrest this man? Obviously, this cop doesn't have any children. And if he does, he doesn't seem to give a damn about his children. Well, let's get into this now, speaking of children. 